uniforms are clothing that restricts a person's right to express themselves. It is a way to keep students from learning. There hasn't been any discussion with students on how they feel about using uniforms. This action changed the way on how productive students are, and now they are the ones suffering. The uniform policy was originally created to help students to dress appropriately and professionally. Thus, having these effects reduces the student's ability to express themselves, which limits the creativity of all students because they are limited to what to wear. Having this action made creates problematic on students because they dislike what they are wearing and may lead to disobeying the rule. Once breaking the rules, it consists of a detention or sent back home to change, which affects the student's ability to learn. Students are aging among the school years, and they will soon know what to wear for professionalism. For instance, in most colleges, students express themselves by wearing anything they desire, and when there is an opportunity for business or meetings, they wear things for professionalism. Which brings me back to my point that students should be able to express themselves throughout high school just like the students that were once before them. And using the image of what universities say about uniforms, there have no reports that uniforms improve a student education or reduces bullying, which GRPS stated in quote, increased focus on teaching and learning, reduces distraction, peer pressure, and behavior issues. But there is no evidence, but there is no evidence or statistics online that prove this from GRPS. Another reason why uniform policy was created is for the affordability, but students already have clothing that fits them at home. The uniform prices from regular collar shirts varies from $8 to $15. Now the pants which are the similar similar for, for both genders goes from $14 to $21. Every student has an additional clothing at home. For example, students have regular v-necks, design shirts, and many more which comes with more varieties of styles and colors. By uniform which is every year, we are talking about an additional $180 estimated a year. Now this can be multiplied by how many children the parents or parent have. In all honesty, the prices for the brand, clothes, or any non-uniforms are fairly the same. If you go to a nearby mall and start comparing from jeans to khakis to shirts to polos, you will see the prices are fairly the same. Having clothes at home and not being able to use them is deranged. Parents are purchasing more clothing when there's at home. Why make them pay for more? They worked hard enough, and the uniforms are an additional cost. In this data on their page, cost savings to parents slash family. But in reality, it is an extra cost. School pride is when students can be themselves and enjoy the present at their school. It is not when you take the liberty to wear anything they desire, especially when the district forces you to wear uniforms. That itself shows that they don't really care about the youth opinions, opinions or ideas. Every student has the right to give a voice on what they want to see in their community and district. The more you're involved with the youth, the more progress is made. For the uniforms, only parents and staff from GRPS was involved with the final decisions for this policy. Where was the high school students at? Was there a survey sent to high schoolers? Was there a meeting for this action? High schoolers want to feel free and happy. But if students feel un unhappy and feel unfair, then how will the progress in GRPS improve in, in education if their students feel uncomfortable to be in a district where this action limits their rights. If we observe different districts, like in Wyoming for example, students feel like they have a voice. Even in their own, even in their own mission statements state, we believe learning is a community effort. We believe in rigor, relevance, and relationships. And we believe in all kids can learn. As a community and district, students do not want uniforms. To prove my point, I set up a survey and here's the result of the student's opinion. Shocking? It shouldn't be a surprise because there, there are many students uprising to this policy. School safety is what the final district addresses in their policy. They mention about gang clothing, sagging, and design shirts. There is no record or evidence to support their claim that uniforms prevent gang activity. Not only that, there is no news regarding to gang attack at school within the GRPS district. We can assume that even without the uniforms, the safety nets for staff will be the same. In conclusion, all public schools in Michigan, not just GRPS, should allow students to wear non-uniforms to school. This will allow students to express themselves and be different from others. This will save extra time and money for parents. 
and this will certainly help students to become more productive and easygoing within the community. Also, the safety nets for the staff will be the same and school pride will absolutely increase. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video on why we should remove the uniform policy here in GRPS and across the whole school, public school system in Michigan. And also, here's some extra stuff that I forgot to add on about um, the survey, which I made. It was a lot of students um, contribute their opinions about it, and I didn't add on to the. Uh, I didn't add it earlier because there wasn't that much um, explanation for it. But they have their own explanation now. They they have the, their own questions, and um, pretty much I just give options uh, for the students to choose. And also, link in the descriptions, I'll leave all citation reference and where I got my pictures, where I got the videos. And there's going to be some extra stuff in there like um, the, pol the policy YouTube video, the policy handbook, and all the, my sources where I, got, where I got it from pretty much. And I'm going to give credits also to the music, pr the people who produce the music. And yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.